is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Tools Wrestling bringing you a very interesting kind of video today. Now for the life of me, I cannot find the comment on my YouTube comment section. I've been looking for the last 15 minutes, I can't find it, but this was recommended to, a, uh, to me by a viewer. So whoever you are, thank you for this recommendation. Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm gonna to be showing you how I edit my videos. This isn't gonna be a step-by-step -step tutorial because if you wanna know how to edit, there's so many videos up there. You don't need me to explain it to you. There's, I'm not very good at explaining. I'm very basic editing wise, um, but there is YouTube tutorials which you can find. Uh, so what we're gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be showing you how I edit one of my matches. Uh, it's not gonna be my match in particular. This is gonna be, I've found the original file, a re-edit, I'm gonna be showing you how I do it, of the Zach Rowe Malasalto match. And yeah, before we get started, I use Adobe Audition and Adobe Premiere Pro as well as iMovie on my phone. They are the three softwares I use when editing my videos. Let's get right into the first one. Okay, so before we get into the video editing software, I just wanna to talk to you guys about what I use whilst filming these kinds of videos. Uh, and it's literally nothing at all. So I film all of my videos on an iPhone XR. The camera quality on it is very, very good. And I see no need at the moment for me to buy a camera. Uh, cameras are very expensive. I have looked into them. If I was gonna get one, I'd get a Canon G7 like uh, G7X like point and shoot style camera. Um, that's what I know Kip uses. And I also know one of my close friends who's a YouTuber, Alex Martindale, he uses them as well. And yeah, other than that, I literally just use this Amazon tripod, uh, very good. It's literally just a phone tripod. It's got this little spring, obviously, all you can do, you know, up, down, left, right, whatever you wanna do. It fully extends all the way out. Uh, it stands, it's not too tall, it's probably about four feet off the ground. Uh, so nothing too major, but it's good enough. And I stand this on top of a ladder, literally uh, facing the trampoline when I film these kinds of videos. So that is the equipment. Let's get right into the iMovie app and how it works for me. Okay, so iMovie is one of the most basic editing softwares you can get for any Apple product. It can be on Mac, iPad, iPhone, you name it, it's on there. I actually. I shouldn't say that, I don't even know if it's still on the App Store anymore. But either way, I got it ages ago and it is fantastic for basic editing. Uh, if you're on Android, I'm sure there is a good alternative, you just have to do a bit of research. I can't obviously tell you that because I don't have an Android device. But iMovie, obviously I film everything on my phone like I previously stated. So it's very easy for me to just straight up import all of them files. Um, so entrances, actual match footage, anything that happens after if it does, um, like post-match interviews for example. And I just chuck that straight into iMovie, add any transitions I need, fade in, fade out, um, cut anything that needs cutting, uh, trim anything, speeding up, you know, it's got all of them tools. And yeah, that is the most basic edit I do. That's all it is, core match editing. So any splits, cuts, whatever, it's all done on iMovie. And once that is done, I just plug my phone into the computer. Um, so I export the video from iMovie to my phone, plug it in and then upload it um, literally straight from my phone to the computer ready for the proper edit. Okay, so normally El Jantonio would do the commentary live, however, Due to this obviously being a test video, I'm gonna have to call him in. Um, so I'll be sending El Antonio a message via Instagram direct message. Follow me down below in the description at Joe Freaking Anthony on Instagram, obviously El Antonio L underscore Jantonio. Uh, I'm gonna have to message him to come in um, so I can get him to do, you know, what he would do for commentary. So yeah, let's send him a text. Olé! Well, thanks for coming, I guess. Uh, I don't need much from you, if I'm honest. I just need you to do a regular demonstration of what you would normally do when commentating one of our JTW matches. Is that all okay with you? Yeah, that's fine. Perfect. And here we go. JTW Intercontinental Champion getting gut kicked by Malasalto. Zach has got his leg, picking him up to his feet by the scruff of his shirt. What's Zach Rowe going to be attempting here? Choke slam to Malasalto. Malasalto bouncing back up to his feet, going for a second one. Second choke slam. And Zach cocking the fist. Superman punch to Malasalto Intercontinental Champion. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So the first software I use when editing these kinds of videos is Adobe Audition. So we're going to start by making a project file. Literally just going to call it Zach Malasalto Test. Now this program 
program is for sound editing. Uh, I use it at college and that's what makes me know what it is. It's literally just for all audio stuff. So what I'm going to do is any sound effects I use in the videos, aka uh, audience sound effects, uh, the ring bell, the one, two, three count, any booing, you name it, it's all in Audition. Um, so I start off by importing the video file itself so I know what I'm working with. Um, so literally import the video file, then I'll import any sound effects that I want to add. Uh, I have them all on a music playlist. And yeah, so essentially, literally just throw that in. I used to edit on my PS4, uh, so that's why all of my stuff is still on this PS4 um, memory stick. So I used to use a program called Share Factory, but it literally is only good for basic editing. So we're going to throw that, um, the original audio track and the original video into the, um, the actual multi-track timeline. And there you go, as you can see we've got the video. This unfortunately for me is the fully edited version, um, or like the base, I edit a few times, so this is one of the main edited versions. So from there, I'll import the crowd sound effect straight away, trim it, make it, you know, as it's meant to be. The good thing about Audition is you can change the volume and everything, uh, and you can change it at different points, as I've, like, you know, you put a little marker down, you can make it go up, down, wherever, at any given point. So, for example, when there's talking, I make the audio go up um, so you can hear it over the crowd but then obviously during the match I make the crowd audio higher um, so it's a very good program I get all of my programs I got them all um, from college a subscription from college so Adobe Audition is fantastic so literally any sound effects I want to add on whether it's a pinfall whether it's whatever you can see I literally just chuck it in Adobe Audition and I do the multi-track edit from there so, when I'm done, I save it, then I scroll up to um, export, and then I go to, where is it? So, multi-track mix down, and then all files, the entire session. Once that exports, I throw it in Premiere Pro. So now we're moving on to Premiere Pro. Now, Premiere is a fantastic software for mainly video editing. Um, if you're doing like advanced edits, it's not very good. You need After Effects as well, but for base edits, it's fine. So for these videos, it's perfect. So I throw in the original file. I then import the multi-track mix down, which is my current version, my brand new fixed version. Uh, I don't actually have the Malice Auto mix down anymore, so we just... Well, I might do. Let's have a little look. No, I don't think I do. Let me check the Malice Auto. No. Okay, right, ignore me. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm literally just going to grab the Zach file um, with bad B, I think. Yeah, I'm just going to grab the bad B one. So let me go into, it's all, it saves into the LJ file for some reason. There we go. Um, yeah, we're going to take that one and just throw that in. So it's not going to sync up perfectly, uh, but it will do the job for now. So chuck that in and all I'll do is I will unlink the original uh, soundtrack for the video. I will delete that soundtrack and then I'll throw in the mix down. So because I edited over the original video, the mix down lines up perfectly with everything. So as long as both um, the video and the mix down are lined up on zero minutes, zero seconds, it's all good. So once I'm in Premiere, it's now time to import the entrance videos. So I have all my entrance videos saved. I make them on here as well. And yeah, there you go. Literally, we've got the giant in the entrance video. Literally crop it down to size throw it over and uh, yeah this is going to be interesting let's let you guys see Zach Rose entrance with my entrance video um, yeah so that's always entertaining I guess but <laughs> hey ho uh, that's all essentially I'll do so once it's time I'll literally you know once the entrance video needs to end right as Zach is about to start talking I'm just going to crop it down and there you go it ends and then at the end of the match when everything's all said and done once the bell when I import the second entrance so my editing really is very very simple uh, I just used quite advanced programs um, so it's just one of them things if you can get a hold of these softwares then 100% do but obviously I don't expect people to um, a lot of my audience is obviously kids so working with this kind of software it is a bit advanced um, so yeah there's nothing really else to say I literally start on iMovie go into audition and then go on to Premiere, and that's when I have the finished one. Um, once I'm in Premiere, obviously, I add the El Jantonio um, sound effect as well, all of El Jantonio's commentary. But other than that, that's basically it, guys. That's literally how I edit the videos. Um, yeah, there is literally nothing more to say than that. It's simple. Um, obviously, this isn't lining up because I've got the bad B mixed, uh, mixed down on there. But there you go. I don't know what else to say. Audition, uh, Premiere Pro, and iMovie. That's all I use. 
So real quick before we go back to me, when you need to export H.264 because that equivalates to MP4 and then you just press the export button. Let's go back to me. There you go ladies and gentlemen, that is how I edit my videos. It's nothing too advanced. Well, in my opinion, a lot of you may be looking at this and thinking, you know what, how the hell am I going to edit something like that? Um, but that's just how I do it. Now, once again, going over the software I use, I literally used iMovie for the base edit, Adobe Audition and then Premiere Pro CC. Uh, and that's essentially it. Now you can buy these programs. They are very expensive, but you can buy them. Uh, if you literally go to Adobe, uh, Adobe's website, you can sign up and hopefully you can maybe get a student deal, but you can buy the actual programs I use. Luckily for me, I got them through my college. Um, so that's how I use the software. And then there is the other option, which is cracking the software and downloading it illegally, which I am not recommending any of you do. It can mess up the software. The software can not be good and it can mess up your computer entirely. So don't do that unless, you know, you're desperate. But that didn't come from me. I didn't say that. Um, but yeah, that's essentially it, ladies and gents. Uh, these are probably the most advanced kind of videos I edit, other than things like green screen effects, which I just add on. Uh, I'm not going to give you a, a full tutorial of how to edit. There's so many videos on YouTube that teach you how to do that. I've self-taught myself um, along with some lessons we've had at college, but they're none the wiser. Um, so green screen effects, adding overlays, images, transitions, uh, like fade-ins, all stuff like that. That's all stuff that you can literally sit down, give yourself an hour at your computer and you can learn it. Um, but yeah, I don't really have much else to say. Once again, I want to say thank you to the person that recommended that I do this video. Um, I can't find your comment, unfortunately. So if you are watching, then leave it in the comments and I will pin you. Um, but that's essentially it, ladies and gents. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Please be sure to give this video a like, comment and subscribe if you enjoy. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.